Welcome everyone. Please again, feel free to speak up, share, ask your questions, interject, joke around a little bit if you want. Only good jokes though. So Dennis, Felix, Ivan, Robert, Sume, you guys are not allowed to joke. <laughs> me, too. me too, me neither. I won't joke. I'll be serious. So Dennis, you said you had a observation or question. Yes, uh, observation. And yeah, also question or like curiosity around it, because it feels like such a um, powerful thing when like just in the development and your my my or like someone's personal expansion and that is like how to be more efficient in leaving behind and kind of energetically cutting the ties with stuff that are not relevant anymore and that can be projects that can be people in your life or um yeah I can also repeat the example that I said before, if it's relevant about men's session. I just, how you efficiently, uh, that was like such a learning experience uh, when you saw like those men's sessions are not relevant anymore. So it was just like such a cut. Um, and there wasn't like any trace felt, like any, like nothing. Uh, yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it was so clean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so just like how you approach that feels like, I don't know, do you like see, uh, see like particular experience, so many angles, like pers uh, offer it so many angles and then see because of it, you see it's not relevant anymore and you move on or I'm, I'm just like curious so that I can be more efficient in my own life. Uh, when I just see leaving behind like old life and just like making that cut so that I don't kind of uh, look back, move on. Oh, let me check again. Um, make a step forward. Oh, let's check again. Look back uh, because it's such a tiring process and it's kind of slowing down the whole expansion part. Hmm. And your question is? If you can make it uh, more uh, general without like specific example, the question would be how to be more efficient in like just cutting or like leaving behind what's not relevant anymore. I mean, yeah, it's not difficult if you're done with it. You know? Like uh, things linger for me as well if they're not done. So that men's session ending was just a good example of having no allegiance left to it. So no process. It's just like, Oh, no, I'm done. So it's not always like that with every topic or subject or person or dynamic. Some are more drawn out or more of a back and forth process, uh, maybe raising the standard, having some communication, setting an ultimatum, um, trying a different way. So it really depends on the process. I could have also just as well, just made a statement of how that didn't work for me. And, and continue. Um, but it was just very clear that I didn't want to proceed. Um, and I suppose I already had some, some measure of doubt about those sessions. Anyway, like, I wasn't quite feeling like I was fully in alignment with that. It really was kind of like extending myself too much into you guys's world to see if I could offer anything helpful. Um, but it felt too, it felt like a little bit artificial or like novel, like oh, a romantic idea almost like this would be cool and this could be helpful. So that was just an instance where for me it was very simple. It's very clean, very clear, very complete. So that's why there was no trace. But I've had many processes in my life that lingered on, or that pulled me back in, or there was some attachment left or something that 
needed to be worked out still, or a continued desire to be of service, but then temporary exhaustion with it, perhaps because of some kind of imbalance or going too far in overextending myself, then having to take a step back, but then recharging, then being available again. And so it's definitely not every topic, every subject, every dynamic that's that swift. But when it's clear, it's clear, like when I'm done with it and there's no trace and there's no karmic trace, then it just goes poof. So same for you, no? I mean, you, um, when you were done brushing your teeth this morning, assuming that you did, no offense if you didn't, then you haven't thought about it today, have you? Right? It's very simple. So that's because you have no remnants of meaning given, no significance is given to your morning toothbrushing ceremony, other than this is something that makes sense for me to do. Otherwise I have bed breath. And, um, you know, common sense. So, but then when you're done with it, you're done with it. You don't think about it. There's so many things throughout your day that are clean cut, simple, left behind. So you're already doing it all the time. Right now you're just comparing an event that was very clean cut for me, just like to brushing your teeth is for you. It had no further attachment or remnants of meaning. And uh, there was no doubt about it. No question, no unresolvedness. So you're comparing that to situations that you give meaning in your life, probably. So it's what I would call your themes, right? Your themes of exploring certain lessons that are thematic in nature that are returning, they're recurring, they um, share a certain theme. And so those are kind of your pre incarnative plans for this life, things you want to learn balances that you want to balance out and so forth. And therefore, quite naturally, they stick until the lesson that wants to be learned is learned. So you're doing it all the time, clean cut, leaving a situation that doesn't work. It's just a matter of, um, of honoring, excuse me, honoring your remaining attachments to whatever you've given a lot of meaning, or whatever is part of your thematic exploration. And then when you understand these remnants, these components, where you're still attached to it, and you dive into them, you resolve them, you understand them, accept them, then it'll be like brushing your teeth. Just like we don't really remember anything that we don't give any significance. You probably don't remember what it was like to brush your teeth this morning specifically. Like there's nothing eventful or special about that moment. It's very similar to every day. So you don't have an active memory of it. So it's not that complicated. Don't make my uh, experiences too special in comparison to yours. You're doing it all the time. It's just these particular sticky points that you're working with that are part of your theme or part of lessons you want to learn. Cool. Quite simple. And you sh it's not like you should be done with things that you're not done with. You know, there's a novel idea maybe that you have of uh, that mastery means that there's never any attachment or there's never any sort of follow up with anything that things are just dropped and that's it. And I, I agree it was kind of a, a cool example because we invested a lot in kind of doing it and we talked about it and we said we dressed up for it and da da da. So it had some cool momentum and then it was nope. And then we didn't spoke a single word about it anymore. So it was a fun example of like what it can be when there's no attachment or when something is clear. It's just a matter of whether it's really clear for you. Attachment to things that you kind of want to leave, but you kind of don't, or they're kind of not leaving your experience. It's just a matter of clarity. It's not a matter of attachment. You're only attached because you're not clear on the benefits and the detriments and what it, how it serves you. And once you've extracted all the benefit, all the nuggets, everything you want to learn, once you've extracted the lesson and the mastery, then the mastery expresses itself as dropping it or letting it go or it dissolving. But the way to mastery is to actually 
appreciate it and extract the wisdom from the things that keep sticking to your consciousness, so to speak. Just bringing awareness to them lovingly and fiercely. Then one mean like to extract the wisdom out of it instead of trying to get rid of it. <laughs> exactly, right. And I wasn't trying to get rid of anything. It was just clear. This is uh, not in alignment. So I, we stop. <laughs> <laughs>